Welcome to the latest edition of the Snooze here at LonghornStation.com with the Mod Brooks. I'm John Madani. Please enjoy the wake-up call weekday mornings from 6 to 9 on AM 1300 The Zone. Run, Ricky, run. If you didn't see it last night, a fascinating documentary on Ricky Williams, the former Heisman Trophy winner and lifetime Longhorn, who is now employed by the Miami Dolphins. Your initial thoughts, now you obviously knew Ricky Williams a whole lot better than I did. Uh, what were your thoughts about the documentary? I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And for all of you fans out there who say athletes don't open up, to say, you know, athletes try to shy away from the media, here's a guy who you we could refer to as Herman at one point. Now coming out, allowing cameras to follow him around, uh, to show what he's like as a father, to interview his family members. Let me, let me explain something to you. You interview my family members, they're going to have some pretty harsh things to say about me and some pretty good things too, I'm sure. But we all know, family members, that's how it happens. They interviewed everyone who was closely associated to this young man. And on top of that, Ricky initiated it. So I got to give him mad credit and props for allowing that to happen, um, knowing Ricky personally. Some of the things that, you know, I was, I was around for some of the parts of that that they were talking about in the late 90s, of course, when he was here in Texas and uh, have known Ricky since then. Uh, I thought it was a great job of portraying, portraying what he was like. A lot of people think that he's crazy and off his rocker. That could be the case. But I think now we also are seeing, John, that some of this, this young man had some very difficult things to deal with and, and give him credit for overcoming them the way that he has. He's the first running back ever to have a six-year gap between rushing for 1,000 yards. Mm -hmm. The young man can still play football. So, And he's a much better father than he was, you know, three or four years ago, which I think he's getting the spiritual. Um, of course, um, he's, he's moving forward with his life there. And on top of that, he's still playing ball. Ricky has five kids now, which uh, we learned uh, last night. His wife, his new wife, just had a child uh, in January. You know, and for me... Uh, it, it filled in a lot of the missing details. I never knew about the alleged sexual misconduct with his father and all that stuff. That was really dark. But we we feel more empathy, I think, for Ricky Williams. But here's, I mean, if he were to be the NFL MVP next year, I wouldn't be surprised. If he came up with another dirty drug test and was uh, thrown out of the NFL next year, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, nothing surprises us anymore with Ricky Williams. And I think the one thing that, uh, he will tell us emphatically is he is a work in progress. And we may not know that he may be a doctor one day, for all we know. It was really amazing. Apparently he has a, a desire. If you missed the special, we have the uh, times for that program. It will air twice today and twice tomorrow on various ESPN flat, uh, TV platforms. So you'll have to check our page, Wake Up Call page, to find out the latest. And remember to always check our blogs right Hit here at LonghornStation.com. See you next time.